Kia ora and aroha, that's greetings and love from New Zealand. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, a very warm welcome. And to those returning to view my videos, thank you so much. Today's video is a part of the April Showers Bring May Flowers video series of mine. And I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm drawing and painting a moon with ribbons in the sky. We are artists and we have the liberty to paint anything the way we want. There's no right or wrong way for us. So let's spend a few moments in our own little worlds. I take a cello tape and draw the circle of the moon. I use Lakeland painting water soluble color pencils. I take the dark blue, light blue and black pencils. I dip a brush in water and then apply it on the drawing that I did. Because it's water soluble pencils, it will the water will activate the pencils and you'll get a watercolor effect on the painting. I change my brush from a flat one to a round one because it's better for drawing circles, but uh, you can in use any brush that you, you feel comfortable with. I then take my soft pastels and use the dark blue color. I'll put a list of all the supplies that I use in the description box below. And um, I dust the chalk from the pastels because it, previously I have applied the pastels to paper and it makes a very hard mark so now I've learned to dust the pastel and spread the powder with the brush. Because I've used water within the moon I let it dry and then paint the sky. Now I'm drawing some lines across the sky just like ribbons um, you could take that as the clouds or the patterns in the sky whatever you feel like you can draw them in a different way but i'm doing them as ribbons because i can doodle in them later again i'm using the Lakeland color pencils which are water soluble and I've used orange and red to make some patterns. Now I'm using Faber Castle's uh, Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner. I'm not very fussed up in using a particular size. I just um, use when I start with the outer lines I usually use the 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 mm but when I want to do very fine lines like what I'm doing now then I use 0 0.1 or maximum 0 0.3. You can do these with any color pencils or any pens that you have. The whole aim of these exercises are warm-up exercises and you can use anything I don't tend to be fussed about this um, because I have these from years of drawing. I have these things at hand, so I'm using whatever I have. But please don't feel uh, that you have to go and rush and buy things. I've done that for some other mediums and I've brought all the expensive mediums and then hardly do anything and it's a waste so I would recommend you always have use whatever you have and once you get comfortable and need them then buy whatever you feel like use. I will start some music in a little while whilst you are doodling so that it becomes a meditative process and um, any time that I want to say something, I'll just pitch in. I'll also put the time lapse on and um, if you want to see it at a slower speed, 
please click on the three dots that are above this video and select the speed according to your preference. using a glitter brush here now I won't be able to list the name of this because I don't have it it's a gift that my daughter has given me and I keep saying on I think every video of mine whenever I use it they're metallic brushes and uh, they are made in Korea but uh, I can't find any name of the brand or anything I mean there is but it is in a language that I cannot understand so unfortunately i can't give you that but you can use any glitter pens or anything that you have available with you I use a white acrylic brush pen as a highlighter just to make some dots in any dark colors that I use.
after doing the doodles I noticed that I want to make the sky darker because um, you can't see the moon pretty much in that bright sky so I just go on to make it a bit darker with dark blue pencil and a black pencil I should have done this in the background earlier but uh, sometimes you notice things later and you can always rectify it I'm not going to put water on it so that's fine I'll just uh, use a pencil just darkening the skies and now um, adding some drops of rain to those who view my videos uh, previously know that I love splatters but in this particular one I didn't want to do splatters I just uh, thought I'd put some April showers instead um, and I take the white acrylic highlighter and just do some raindrops I still find the sky very light and would have loved to make it more darker but anything will do we're coming to the end of this uh, video and I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments what your experience was. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hope you have a nice day or a nice night in whichever part of the world you are in and see you tomorrow.